Testing. Testing. Here we go. The Royal Guard is similar to the Knight in power, but while the Knight gains his advantage on the battlefield through intimidation, the Royal Guard gains his through skill alone. I wanted to make the Royal Guard distinct from the Knight. I felt that the Royal Guard should have a presence, but the big ogre silhouette was already taken by the Knight, and I didn't feel right having two of them. So I went for the nimble build, inspired by, say, Link or Cloud. I kept a large sword because... Large sword, I guess? Let's just say he needs it to kill dragons. Now that I'm thinking about it, one of the Royal Guard's abilities is quick movement in the early stages of battle, so I guess that's also a reason to keep him normal-sized. Once I had the basics I wanted out, I switched to a fresh sheet for some warm-up on clothing. I goofed off a bit to see what would come out, and what I would do better on the actual sketch. I didn't want to give him a shield because I think I was going to for a more classic one-man army vibe, and for some reason, S.H.I.E.L.D. seemed to cheapen that for me. Unfortunately, without a S.H.I.E.L.D., it was hard to find a place for the guard's insignia, and having a royal guard without the royal family's insignia somewhere on him just wasn't right. I'm hoping that I can paint it on somehow. Later. I realize now that he looks more like a dragon hunter than an elite guard, but I was really set on making something with a face, and if you give someone a face, it's a lot more likely to look like a main character than just some guy in a helmet. I was originally planning on painting this in grayscale like I did with the knight, but it looked good enough at the end and I had spent enough time on it that I was about done. Besides, I probably would